Hello everyone, it's Walter here again and uh, today we're going to be doing the second video of the hunting guides and I'll be showing the area in Liberty Bay where you find earth elementals, night stalkers and uh, giant spiders I think there are some bone beasts as well so I'll be showing how to get through the area and uh, how to succeed hunting here not that difficult but you need to be level 60 to pass the gate so there we go I'll be using strong flame strike and flame strike together to deal more damage and kill them quickly but probably level 60 you won't oh, damn it I used the wrong skill level 60 you won't have a strong flame strike it's for level 70 So let's finish this. All right. Uh, firstly, I will be going this way to east, and sometimes you have to be careful here because these elementals they take it takes three to four turns to kill them, depending on your level and if you have more than one can be a little bit difficult to solve the problem so here as you could see there were three not very close to each other I think two of them they are close and one a little bit far and here we find our first night stalker I'll try to finish it him quickly because I don't want him to be to go invisible they do it pretty often and it's annoying because what happened? <laughs> I, <laughs> I used the wrong skill again uh, I think I'm going to switch this hotkey yes okay so then I won't have this mistake fire strike here so our first earth mental alright uh... what damn it uh, I still messing these hotkeys anyway it's the first time I I use this this way I think I will return it to the way it was a few more comfortable <laughs> okay so then we hi find another nice stalker uh, this is the the difficult part here we will find four earth elementals and the nice stalkers I think you m may find up up to two night stalkers here but the other one is free they are very a bit far to the west so it's difficult to get him together so the others are to west I'm lagging a little bit I don't know what is this So they drop a very good loot. I'm um, wearing garlic necklace, and uh, not to be <laughs> killed by those night stalkers because they deal heavy damage. Those light rings. If you if you are not careful, you may die. They don't use that skill pretty often, but when they do, it's like all the time. I thought I was going to get both. Let's get the earth first. Of 
because we can kill him quickly. Every time I get like a nice stalker or earth mantle, I go for the earth first because it's easier to kill. I'm lagging a little bit. I don't know why. I think it's because of the video recorder. So, mm, decent, decent loot, but it's, it's all they drop. Uh, there's nothing else. They are they drop a lump of earth and gold. Sometimes mana potions, the strong mana potion, but that's it. Nothing else. And the not night stalkers, they hardly ever drop uh, boots of haste. Not common. I've looted one once and it was the only time I got it so here we find the stairs to the to the lower level I don't know what happened to the creatures when they get to this area this part because they switch target I don't know what makes them do this but anyway <laughs> I, I've always found this very curious let's get the earth first and we get a bit laggy I usually try to face Night Stalker because if it if it goes invisible, I get him anyway with the strike. So uh, you gotta be careful in this area. As you could see, there were three Earth Elementals and one Night Stalker. So here we find a Bound Beast and a Night Stalker. forgot about the cooldown. I was trying to use strong flame strike but it's 8 seconds cooldown. So I'm gonna try to get some up to the north. Mm. Mm, looks like there's nothing here. Just one. Anyway, I usually go south first. I think it's better. So going south, we'll find two night stalkers and three bone beasts. And here we find our night stalkers. I was going to use the energy wave, but I'm not sure if I could hit them all. And I'm lagging, so certainly not. And now just get the bone beast. Let's see. Damn it, what did I do? I think I tried uh <laughs> yeah, let's use a great fireball and then <laughs> shit. I almost died there. That's part of the, <laughs> the adrenaline. Anyway, so after you kill those bombies, we're gonna find more nice talkers. Good. Oh shit. Come on. I hate when this happened. Like, 
uh, I'm pretty sure it happens all the time if you run some creature and then you stop like you're let, let me show with a creature you are running from then and then you stop and turn face him it's it switches position like the, the giant spider mm, no it didn't work this time anyway I'm sorry about this uh, I, I usually run from them but I'm not my ping is very high and I can't do this as you can see there there are two stones here so you just run around the stones and while you kill the giant spider it's not that difficult or you can just place a firewall and uh, run around the firewall if there is nothing you can use as an obstacle and it's really really a very good area to hunt night stalkers and but this place is usually full of people botting so depending on your server I don't know how it works my server is usually camped by those botters they hunt 24 per 7 <laughs> Yeah, that's the difference uh, uh, playing in a non-PVP server. Um, you cannot force people to get out of the respawn, and you can uh, you can do nothing about the botters. But uh, um, the people that play here, uh, I don't. They are they understand when you are hunting like. Uh, they leave the place, they don't share places with others because they know the experience is not good so unless they are very stupid they keep hunting with you because if you are first and you're getting good experience and uh, he arrives later and starts sharing the creatures alright, if, if he's noob like he will keep hunting but soon he will notice that the experience is not good and he will try to come later to to hunt alone uh, and it normally happens like people will they see ah there's somebody here let me find somewhere else to hunt but there are, there's always that guy the fox with the respawn <laughs> and said I'm not leaving then you say oh, get away please no no I'll be here it's my I'm first <laughs> hue hue <laughs> but anyway uh, if you normally it doesn't happen so and here we find our second giant spider but that's all um, if you go this way oh it turns into a ferumbrus it's very rare oh this time I got him actually I tried to, to step one step back but it didn't work I was paralyzed <laughs> but anyway it worked I'm pretty sure I was going to miss that so we find the, f the last night stalker and that's all about the hunting this is how you hunt here as a sorcerer if you like uh, please leave a like and comment on this video if you want to see uh, a guide on how to hunt in other places please let me know, leave a comment and I'll try to make a video about that uh, I like hunting in different places I hate 
grinding in one place only so I, I usually visit lots of different places just to know how it is to hunt in those areas but thanks for watching and subscribe if you like the content <laughs> see ya later on the video number three bye bye